Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to create a FreeBSD container using Podman. All right, so I have here a fresh install of a system and what I need to do is to install Podman. So we do this with pkg install Podman. So after installing Podman, we need to enable ftskfs. For that, we're going to edit the fs tab and add here fdesk slash dev ft fdesk fs read write zero zero and mount dash a and you can see now that fdesk fs is available next thing copy user local etc containers pf sample to etc pf dot, dot conf pf.conf and here let me um, get the in the if config so in the egress we get the em0 then we can do sysrc pf enable equals yes service pf start and cctl net pf filter local equals one and let's do a restart just to make sure what we need to do is sysrc podman enable equals yes and service podman start now let's create here um, a bear a base let's call it base system cd base system and what we need is to get the base system from freebsd we create now a docker file make directory a base and yes now tar xvzf base dash c base so now we do a du dash h d1 on base we can see that we have about 400 megabytes in the base system now let's build the image podman build t base 14 2 here now the container is successfully created we can check this podman images and we have here um, one image i have not understood very well why the size is kind of double but um, it is what it is now let's try this container we can do a podman run remove we want it iterative and we do a base 14.2 and there we go we are inside the container so who am i root host name we have the this is the name of the container Let, let's try to install some software pkg install and of course we use the we install the vim and let's try vim out hooray so we have vim installed inside the container let's exit so now instead of uh, logging in a directory into the console i've um, ssh to the machine now i'm going to show you how to create a thinner jail for that i create um, copied here to the file some uh, to the system some docker file and some make sh that was written by myself let create first a directory make base minimal let's call it the base minimal let's move the docker file and the make here let's have a look first at the docker file which is easier it also creates from scratch copies from the base well it sets some environment variables and does the bin sh not much different from before but the make uh, script is different and uh, here you can see i did a small bash script that i'm going to go very quickly through you can pause the video if you want to see the details i define here the release version of freebsd the cpu and the container name so let's put this the base 14.2 
minimal. That's the name of the, of the container that we're going to create. And we're going to harm this container. So meaning that we are going to remove lots of things. I don't want to remove PKG to install basically some packages, but I want to remove software development tools, remove utilities, editors, script tools, network tools, tools related with compression and other kind of tools. Let's see uh, what this is. The, the size is going to be reduced considerably, but there are things we don't need inside a container. So uh, here, you, as you can see, I download base and I'm doing more or less the same I did in the command line before. And then I start removing unnecessary stuff, like, for example, um, uh, the, the boot directory, <clears throat> because we don't need a kernel inside the, um, uh, the container, uh, and all the tools related with mount, um, firewalls, um, kernel, um, kernel module loading things and whatever, MK node, so a lot of things that take lots of space and we don't really need them. So let me just scroll a little bit. Yeah, creating file systems, doing unmount. Um, we don't need those things inside the, comp the, the container. So let's um, here. So um, here I'm uh, copying, basically uh, keeping the PKG. Here, uh, this is some uh, some tricks that I'm I'm currently using uh, to. Yeah, some some packages do not install very well uh, with PKG if you remove lots of stuff. And here I'm just fooling the system a little bit. So we don't need also all these things about uh, yeah, for network um, fingered. Um, I, we are hardening the system. We really, uh, if you would like to have, you can enable the flag and those tools could be kept in the base and they would be present in the container. So stuff related with firmware, send mail, manual pages, games, we don't need this. Software development tools. Uh, if you're not going to do software development inside a container, well, we can just remove that thing. So let's continue here. Some utilities, the diff, finger, fortune, MK5, and etc. Um, some uh, additional system tools, uh, DD, DF, NPROC, um, sync, um, at, you name it change shell so lots and lots of system tools that we um, that i'm just removing from the container they occupy space and i don't want them inside so uh, let's continue here as you can see lots and lots of stuff is being removed so we continue let's go down yeah uh, lots of stuff uh, going some pages more down uh, in general so uh, here, uh, typically, I like to leave these things. This is if you have some some uh, shell scripts and so you you might want to look at um, yeah you might want to have CP or date or LS make there move remove yeah uh, those are really basic things. But uh, let's say you are just going to serve a web page inside the container, you don't need those tools additionally, so they are taking up space. We, um, I also removed the editors that come with the operating system. Again, we don't need this. And some, uh, I call it crypto, but um, yeah, it's really it's some, um, some, um, some tools to co uh, compute hashes, uh, like SHA-1 hashes, SHA-256, and, and, and so on. Uh, OpenSSL. Uh, network tools, drill, FTP, SCP, ping remove those and tools related with compression they are also going to go away and other tools that i could not really order they, they could be put as system tools yeah um yeah. remove all of those also and then we build the container and we do a cleanup so that's it um here we um remove everything except pkg let's see if the container is then usable so Shell, um, shell make. Great, so Podman images, 
and we can see that from the 900 megabytes we are reduced to 300 megabytes. Let's uh, start this container. So podman run rm it and let's get this one here. All right, we are inside the container now. ls not found. What is the host name? Not found. df or du df nothing is found. The container is really hardened. But pkg that's installed. So let's try to get Vim up and running. pkg install. Now let's try to run Vim and it is running inside the container. How good is this? But again df, du, lcd, I, I, okay cd is working. Um, but um, what are the directories? Do, do I have ls? ls is not found. So let's go to bin. Can I see the files which are here? No. Uh, yeah, there is a trick which is echo star. Okay, so I only have shell. Look at this. And what about sbin? What do I have here? Well, nothing. <laughs> there is nothing in sbin. Let's uh, user bin. Do I have anything? Well, uh, zstream dump, which is, well, ls. <laughs> it, it's basically not found. It's, um, it's not there. Uh, we can search for lots of things. It's the container basically has nothing inside except for Vim. Let's try to have a little bit of fun with this and um, let's install um, TTYD. So it's there. Uh, let's look at the oh, uh, if config is not possible to do an if config. So for that, I'm going to pull up another window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH to that machine, root at 192.168.8.172. We are in the machine and let's see podman running, podman uh, ps. And now we have a container ID, that's the one that is running. Let's actually have uh, the size, let's look at the size. Uh, it's... Um, 421 megabytes virtual 726 uh, which is a really trimmed down a really small container now let me try to get the ip address podman inspect this uh, container here and lots of things are coming here do i have jq installed no so pkg install jq let's get this into the machine so we try podman ps podman inspect 0f uh, we don't need to write everything jq r dot dot network settings we have the network settings dot ip address and here we have we see here this is the uh, ip address of the container and we couldn't actually even ping the container uh, it should work uh, let's go back to the other terminal here and uh, I just realized that I uh, did one thing wrong but uh, it's uh, it's fine so let's say tty um, dash w bin sh and let's stop here uh, because okay we can actually do this and 7168 and we go to the other terminal and uh, we do a fetch HTTP. Uh, 108803 and port 7681. 7681. Uh, and we can see here that there is some, um, some file that has been downloaded and it's basically doing, um, yeah, it's TTYD is working. So now from my local machine, I'm going to try to connect to the container. I've put already the IP address with a port and it will not connect. It will not connect because this port is not being exposed. It's running inside a container in a machine and this machine is not exposing this port from the container to the outside. So I made some small mistakes before, so now let's uh, do the things again. What I need to run here, I, I have already the command. I just replaced and I just added the dash p. So with the expose, for exposing the ports, let's um, actually see podman 
run dash dash help and uh, we see here that there should be a small p publish some ports or capital p publish all and you expose port in the container 7681 on uh, the local machine port 8888 so let's run this this is an absolutely new container with uh, 35 etc so we need to install install ttyd and vim of course So after pulling TTYD and Vim, let's start TTYD. TTYD, capital W, pin SH. Just for curiosity, let's go to um, this terminal here and let's try to inspect the IP address. Yes, it's this IP address and we can try to ping the container. The container is there. And let's see in the main machine, we are currently exposing port 8888 which is as we requested. So, of course, if we try to go to the IP address of, of the main machine, 8888, lo and behold, we have a connection to the container. We can increase the size a little bit. LS not found, but Vim is there. And now, just for fun, let's install also Midnight Commander. And let's try to fire it up. And we can see here that, um, yeah, that everything is running fine inside the container. That's it for today. If you like this video, please use the space down below for some comments. If you really liked it, give it a like. And otherwise, see you next time. Take care and bye bye.